Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Matt Garvey and we are going to be making some comics today. In this video, we are going to be talking about comic scripts. Welcome back to the channel guys. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Matt Garvey. I'm a comic writer from the UK. I've been doing a series of videos showing my entire comic making process from how I develop my ideas all the way through to you know how I sell my comics. We are now at the script writing stage and the original plan was to do the script writing videos as a two-parter. But as a disclaimer, cards on the table, as I've been editing these videos, they're actually a lot longer than originally anticipated. So I'm gonna cut this one in half again and it's going to be a free parter so if it does end in a bit of an anti-climax you know why but based on that let's talk about doing some scripts and let's go over to my pc now okay so let's talk comic scripts finally guys i know this is the one that a lot of you have been waiting for so hopefully it'll be worth the wait um before i show you how i physically write a comic book script i just wanted to show you some of the other resources that are out there just in case you don't like the way that i put my scripts together because as I've said in all the videos leading up to this, there are as many different ways, you know, to make comics as there are creators. And this is just my way. So, you know, you might not like the way that I put my scripts together, um, but it's not the only way. So I just wanted to show you some other stuff that was out there so you can, you know, find the right way that's for you. And the first resource I wanted to share with you guys is the Comic Book Script Archive that is over on the Comics Experience website. I will put a link in the description, so don't worry about that. And Comics Experience are an online comic school, so you know, be sure to check out their courses. You know, if you really want to, you know, deep dive into your comic making process. That wasn't a paid advertisement. I just wanted to say that to them, say thank you, because between them and a chap called Tim Simmons, whoever you are and wherever you are, thank you for doing this. Because on their site, they have provided us with comic scripts from some of the biggest names in comics so you know if you don't like the way that i write my scripts you can come on here and you can check out you know someone like andy digger who's a personal favorite of mine you know click on his name and then you know click on any of his scripts you know he's got the script here for the losers you know which he did with jock which i love you know click on that you know click on that link and there is his script word for word so you know again if you don't like the way i write mine look at how andy does his or you know any of the other creators on there. So you know reading other people's scripts is not going to hurt you. It's actually going to make you a better writer because what you can do is you can take elements from mine, you can take elements from his, you can take elements from you know Phil Hester or you know Carl Higgins, and create your own way of writing a script. Because as I said, there is no wrong way to write one. There is only your way. And as long as your artist collaborator can break down that script into images you're onto a winner, okay? So that is the first resource I wanted to share with you guys, so check it out. As I said, the link will be in the description. And the second recommendation I wanted to recommend to you guys is our director's cuts of some of your favorite comics. And what these are, are over the last couple of years, Marvel and DC have released you know the standard issues of their comics, but also these director's cuts. The reason why I like these director's cuts issues so much is not only do they give you the script from the writer, but they also give you the pencils from the actual artist as well, You know, without the colors and inks and stuff like that. So you can see how that artist is deciphering that script from, you know, from, from that writer which is wonderful to see. So if you've ever wondered how, you know, John Romita Jr. deciphers, you know, a Jeff Johns script, or, you know, Greg Capullo deciphers a Scott Snyder script, or if you just want to see how Grant Morrison writes a script, or, you know, Jonathan Hickman, or something like that, I would totally recommend picking up, you know, one or two, you know, director's cut issues, you know, because they're totally worth the money. So speak to your local comic book shop and see if they can source you a couple. If not, you know, you can get them digitally from Comixology. Also, guys, if your local comic shop's not able to source any of the director's cuts that have come out in the last couple of years, I've just been Googling and I've just found that, that Tom King, Mitch Gerards, and Doc Shanna are bringing out a director's cut of their Strange Adventures comic, which they've been releasing uh, this year. I've previously got the director's cut of Mitch and Tom's uh, Mr. Miracle, and that series was one of the best comics I've read in the last couple of years, and the director's cut I found very, very useful. So I'll definitely be ordering this one. So, you know, if you want to get a director's car, ask your local comic shop, you know, to pre-order it. I think this comes out in November time. November, yep. Yeah. So, you know, get them to put that on your pull list. But if, you know, if they can't or you haven't got a local comic shop, I'll put a link in the description. So, you know, if you're interested in this one, you can source it online as well. 
which leads us finally into the way that I put my scripts together and I'm going to show you that right now. Um, the plan for this session guys is, uh, you know, I wasn't, you know, going to release, you know, a four or five hour YouTube video of me sitting here writing the entire comic, you know, from start to finish, you know, all the 24 pages. What I was going to do is, you know, just do the first couple of pages so you can see how I set my scripts out. Um, if you are interested in, you know, me writing the entire script and recording that process and then putting it up separately, you know, not, not getting in the way of the videos that I'm going to do every week, but, you know, you know, in, in a few weeks time, just doing, you know, really sort of one time video of all the, you know, the sessions that I put together of me writing the entire script. If you do want me to do that, do me a favor in the comments section below, just put, you know, yes or no, you know, yes, if you want it, no, if you're not interested, and then I'll know that because as I'm writing the script, all it means for me is I just need to hit the record button. And, you know, if I put the record button, it just means I don't play music. I know I'll just be talking out loud. So, you know, just let me know what you want, because, you know, as I keep saying, I'm making this channel for you guys. So I'm trying to put the content out there that, that you guys want. So if you want me to release the entirety of me writing the script, yes in the comments and if you're not interested just put me a no and i'll weigh out the odds you know if it's worth me doing that also just wanted to do a disclaimer um, about this script that i'm going to write i've prepared nothing other than you know the uh, plot that uh, you know we we did in the last video and if you missed that video i will put a link in the description for that so that that is all pretty much all the prep that i've done i've done a little bit of research which i'll go through in a minute um Cards on the table, normally I don't show my first drafts to anyone. And the reason for this is because they look horrible. Uh, I have this issue where my brain tends to work a lot faster than my fingers when I'm typing. So usually my spelling and grammar in my first drafts is absolutely terrible. Um, it's just that's just the way I have to get the script out. You know, I write as fast as I can and get it out. Then I go back and I rework it because, you know, that's the good thing about writing comics is you get to go back and do rewrites and make the script better. You know, and, you know, tidy up the dialogue, tidy up the panel descriptions, that kind of thing. So what I've decided to do for this one is I'm going to dial it back a little bit. I'm going to go a little bit slower and I'm trying, going, to, going to try and do what I would call my first draft plus second draft combined. So this is, you know, draft 1.5, shall we say. It's not going to be a perfect draft, but it's not going to be, you know, my rough as a badger's bottom draft either. So if you do notice any spelling or grammar mistakes, don't set me on fire in the comments section saying, you know, that's really bad because that's just the way I work. And, you know, normally this is not meant for your eyes or anybody's eyes. So, yeah, so just bear that in mind and be kind, which is nice because it shows I am human. I do make mistakes. And it also shows, you know, we are very fortunate to live in a time, you know, where we have stuff like spell check and, you know, uh, software like Grammarly and stuff like that that can help us, you know, make, especially me, make me not look like an idiot when I send a script to uh, an artist, which leads me into, you know, uh, what software I use to write my scripts. I know there are other, you know, software solutions out there, you know, stuff like is it first draft or final draft, that kind of thing. I don't bother like that. Literally, you know, I used to do all my first drafts on a notepad, you know, when I used to write on the go. I'm quite fortunate now that I do have my own office so I can literally write straight onto, you know, into Word. And for me, that's good enough, you know, but if you, you know, you do want to look at other, you know, pieces of software to use, it's fine. Again, as long as you can write your script in a clear fashion, go for it. So, you know, but for me, Word is more than enough. Okay, so how do I set my scripts out? Well, even though, you know, this isn't a script that's going to, you know, an editor or a publisher, that kind of thing, it's just a script between me and my artist collaborator, I still like to put my scripts in the most professional. So how I set my scripts out, so how I set my scripts out is, even though this script is, you know, only going to, you know, an artist collaborator of mine and it's something that we're working on an independent level, I still like to put my scripts together as if I was working for a major publisher and to make them look as professional as possible. The reason I do this is because you never know, once the finished article is done and out there, you know, an editor or a publisher may see that comic and go, do you know what, I like what these guys have done, but, you know, I want to make sure, you know, uh, it's not one guy doing all the heavy lifting as in the artist, you know, the, the, the writer is put, putting something into that project. So they might want to see that, you know, how I put my script together. So if I work professionally now, it's something that I've always got and is also a good way to, to learn and, to, you know, to have that tool in your toolbox that, you know what, you can roll out a script in a professional manner.
Okay, so I start my scripts, you know, how most people start their scripts, and that's with a title page. And as I said in the last video, the plan for this actual comic is, even though it's a one-shot, you know, it's an origin story of Walter the Lobster, it's, it is part of the big Off Worms story that Jay, Francis, Totti, and I are telling, and it's going to sit between issues three and four. So it's still part of that universe. So, you know, that's the title. It's, you know... Worms. And because this is a, you know, um, a one shot, uh, I am going to give it its own title. And it's about obviously water being the fisherman and how he, you know, gets mutated into a lobster. And, you know, which is kind of like a monstrosity. So I thought, you know, lobster, monstrosity, what, what would you call it? You'd call it a lobstrosity. So that's going to be the name of this issue, which is, <laughs> so I'm going to call it lobstrosity. There we go. And then I just put, obviously, written by Matt Garvey. And then art by the awesome J. Francis Totti. There we go. And this is the first draft. And I always like to put the date in. So today is the 12th of September. There we go. And that's the title page done. Actually, I don't like spaces there. So we're gonna move that and move that back to the middle. Okay, so that's how I start. <laughs> you know, nothing original there. So regardless if I've worked with this artist before or you know this is the first time we've worked together, I always like to you know write my collaborators a little note, just you know going over a few things, you know any information that I think can add to them. So when they come to you know bringing this you know script to life, they'll have everything to hand. And my buddy Totti is no exception, and I will write him a note right now. So to my buddy Totti, as we as we discuss. Just this comic will sit between issues three and four of Worms telling Walter's origin story, which will help tie up some loose ends and make what happens in issue four make more sense no spoilers because i'm not uh as always i have written the script in a full script style including panel descriptions but you know I trust you and if you think you know how to make it look better go for it the reason I put that is because I'm a writer you know I may see the comic one way in my head but Totti is an artist and I trust him completely, you know, 100%. And he's an artist, so he has a better artistic eye. So when I put that in there, I mean, you know, if I've put on one, you know, one panel that, you know, worms I view, blah, 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 blah. And, you know, he thinks, you know, it will look visually better on the page if it's a bird's eye view go for it you know I, I trust him you know that's that's the level of confidence i have in, with my collaborators i work with totally especially so as long as we get to where we are going and you leave me enough room for the words go crazy and I generally mean that, you know, uh, I like to be excited by, you know, what my collaborators come back with because it is a collaboration, you know. I'm not so protective over my scripts that, you know, it has to be my way or the highway. I want my collaborators to bring their own stamp to, to the comic. You know, it, it, it's us working to, together to create something. But please bear in mind that if I add anything 
in red. That means this is pivotal to the story now or in the future. So it needs to be added. So what I mean by that is, you know, in this story, you know, when we go back, when we refer to the plot, you know, there's going to be some news that's going to be broadcast on the radio. So when I write about the radio, it's going to be in red because that needs to be in the story. If that's missing from the story, the story doesn't work. So anything important, I always put in red because that has to be there. Also, if you can make sure you are working in a US standard size comic format. Reason I put that in because, you know, an artist may not realize that you want it in a, you know, US standard comic size. So they may work on a, you know, a different page size. And then when you get the pages back, you know, you won't be able to print it how you want it. So that's why I always put that in there as just a gentle reminder with the highest resolution possible please always manners always manners and yeah you want it in the highest resolution possible you know between four and six dpi dpi stands for dots per inch we'll come on to that when we talk about printing because you know if uh, an artist sends you pages you know that are you know 100 or 200 you know dpi it's not gonna print brilliantly so the higher you know the resolution the better so get cracking and let's make another awesome comic. Any problems, any questions, you know where I am. Loves ya. Loads. Matt. P.S. Do you ever get the feeling you are being watched or am I just being or am I just being paranoid anyway let's move on and we're going to stick a pin in it there guys thank you so much for watching again sorry for the anticlimax I just didn't think it would be fair to throw like a 50 minute video at you of me writing a comic book script so I thought it would be best to cut it in half again so come back next week and I'll show you how we do that in the meantime don't forget to hit that like share and subscribe button and ring that bell so you don't miss out on any of the content my name's Matt Garvey if I can make comics anyone can and I'll see you in the next video